Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the new video on the casual racing game mode. Today, we have a new way to play VR sim racing wirelessly, and that is Steam Link. Steam released a new app, works the same as AirLink, virtual desktop. So I thought I'd give it a try, give you my opinion. So I tried Steam Link, I tried back to back, I went Steam Link, I went to virtual desktop, I went to Oculus AirLink, and then I also went wired. And I'm gonna give you my opinion of how I thought Steam Link compared to the other options. And this is coming from someone who doesn't feel like wireless is necessary for sim racing. I understand for every other VR application that you're playing regular VR games, wireless makes sense. But I do know a lot of people do like to play sim racing wirelessly and they do have good experiences. So I hopped into Steam Link, tried it out. My thoughts was it was, so I, I used Automobilista 2, which has great VR, and I thought that would be a good benchmark game to try. My first impression was it didn't blow me away with great quality. I did get compression. I, I, did, I did see a lot of things like that. Compared to Oculus AirLink, I thought AirLink looked the worst out of the bunch. So Steam Link looked better to me than Oculus AirLink, and then going to virtual desktop out of the three wireless options i thought virtual desktop looked the best to me it looked the cleanest it looked the sharpest out of all three i am running an rtx 3080 so it's going to also depend on your system that you're running as well as your wireless setup i do not have a dedicated router for wireless vr because i don't run sim racing wirelessly i'm always wired in so that is just you know you might have that same setup you're not having a dedicated wireless router. Also, if you're running like an RTX 4000 4090 series, you have different options that will give you better quality as well. But for those of us with, you know, 30 series and lower, this is my impression. So it's another free option. I don't know what the advantage of using Steam Link over, let's say, virtual desktop would be. I think virtual desktop, although it does cost some money, Steam Link being free, I thought virtual desktop definitely looked better, gave you better options. And I think just it's been out for so long that that they just have that app so dialed in to make things look good no matter what system you're running it, it, it will optimize it for what you're running and i think it's it's still i think to me i think it's still the best option for wireless when i did use my link cable of course i thought that was obviously that was the cleanest looking that was the best clarity and that was also i didn't feel any kind of drop frames or slow down when i did go wired when i did go wired with my link cable and of course running at a high bit rate i'm, run, I'm running at like a 700 i tested it and to me the link cable obviously looked the best wireless would not change me to leave my link cable for any reason so for me it's still the link cable is the winner here but if you want to go wirelessly um, I thought the Oculus Link was the least of the bunch. I thought Steam Link looked good. Of course, there's a lot of settings in Steam you can probably mess around with to make it look better, but I still got more compression than using virtual desktop, just quickly initi um, you know, initially just trying them all out without really getting deep into the settings. I know, like I said, Steam has a lot of settings you can get into. Um, I did pump up the resolution in Steam VR and things like that, but again, Virtual desktop for me looked better. Of course, it's free versus you know spending money, so that's gonna be up to you, but uh, it's not like something I would jump from virtual desktop to go to Steam Link. I didn't see the advantage of it or making anything look better than using virtual desktop. I think virtual desktop is still probably one of the best wireless apps out there. But I just wanted to give my quick opinion on that, let you guys know there's a free app there. If you guys wanna try it out, it's Steam Link. It's in the Quest Store, and it just it hooks you right into Steam VR. It, it was super simple. You basically just turn it on and you're in there, you're in your Steam VR menu, and it just right boots right up and you can start playing your Steam games. So very quick, um, very easy, nothing to it. And it's a great free option. If you guys wanna try it out, I'd love to get your opinion on it. So let me know in the comments below what you feel, how good you feel if you're, going, if you're using virtual desktop, if you're using um, AirLink, if you thought Steam Link looked better for you. Also, let me know if you know any settings, any, any quick tips um, as far as Steam Link is concerned to make it look better or the best thing that worked out for you guys. Also important is leave your setup down below in that comment so we know what you're running just for comparison. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thumb it up, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. We out of here. Peace.